What is going on guys, it is Ashley here, welcome back to another Ashtair video. Today I'm going to be talking about my experiences with dual booting operating systems. Now, on my PC, right there, underneath my desk, uh, that runs primarily Windows 10. In its lifetime, since I bought it, uh on the 1st of July of this year I have dual booted it with two operating systems obviously not I didn't dual boot Windows 10 with two operating systems at the same time obviously it's a different period and it's just one operating system with Windows 10 dual booted and the first one that I tried uh, was the latest release of Ubuntu, Ubuntu 17.04 and I draw boot into that with Windows 10 and it was a very successful um, install, it went very smoothly but the first thing I encountered when I got to the desktop was that my Wi-Fi wasn't working. I scoured through loads and loads of forums to try to try and resolve this issue and it, it just I just couldn't find the answer I, sp I spent like all my time in terminal on Ubuntu trying to get the Wi-Fi working and constantly referring back to uh, referring back to the the forums um, with all the commands and everything for the Ubuntu um, terminal and I just I wasn't ex successful. I wasn't successful in getting the Wi-Fi working, so I couldn't test out the um, built-in web browser for Ubuntu, which is Firefox. It's been the built-in browser. Uh, it's been the browser that comes with Ubuntu uh, for many years now, probably dating back to the first ever Ubuntu operating system. Um, but I'm not, I'm not quite sure. I couldn't test out Firefox because I couldn't get the internet working. That was a bummer. But I, what I could, um, what I could, um, figure out was what uh, navigate was the search. I ha I had to lock it up though, uh, because I'm a bit of an Ubuntu noob. I've never, I, I've, I've only used. Ubuntu one time before one time before and that was on a virtual machine on my old uh, uh, HP um, HP stream uh, 11 inch I do believe laptop and that wasn't the best of experiences that that was the only other time I used Ubuntu so I'm, I'm, I'm pretty much an Ubuntu noob um when it comes to that uh so i had to google everything to try and navigate so uh, i had to google how to find the search bar in ubuntu I'm, I'm that much of a noob but anyway uh i found the search bar and it was a very very clean design ubuntu a bit like uh um a bit like mac uh, where you've got like kind of like the dock you can put on the side in mac also so uh, it's like uh, a left hand side dock um, from the Mac I guess you can call it and, and like uh, the menu bar as well so it's a, it looks a li little bit my Mac so so people coming from Mac uh, if they want to try out Ubuntu like draw boot Mac with Ubuntu or something like that uh, then uh, then they'll probably be very familiar with that with the dock and the menu bar and and, uh, and stuff like that. On, on another day, if the Wi-Fi had worked, it would be a very, very uh, good review from me. But since there was a bit, it was a bit buggy with the Wi-Fi. Then I have to give that experience a seven and a half out of ten. The second time, the second experiment I I I, I job booted with I, two. Windows operating systems together. One, my main one, Windows 10, and the second one was 
Windows 8.1. I've drill booted them and it, it, it was a pleasant experience for me because because I, I used to use Windows 8, uh, Windows 8.1. I used to use Windows 8.1 on, on the HP stream uh, 11. Very, it was a very familiar experience uh, and and like Ubuntu, a very pleasant experience as well. This time, the Wi-Fi was working. That is a big thumbs up. It was a bit unusual not for me to have Google Chrome because that's what I use daily on Windows 10. So I did have to install that, which is a bit, bit unusual for me, uh, having to load up Internet Explorer, which I don't think I've ever used on Windows 10 on that PC anyway. Always, always, always use Google Chrome. Very, very uh, good browser to use. Um, I installed Google Chrome, everything was fine. I, I tested a couple of YouTube videos on it. It was a very nice experience, very, very nice. I liked it a lot. Um, going back to Windows 8.1, definitely definitely brought back memories when when i was uh when i was actually using windows 8.1 and the funny thing was it was only last year that i was using windows 8.1 uh because before i had my macbook air uh, for christmas last year i was uh doing all my editing on a shiba laptop but on and off i would use I would use my HP stream and before even before my Toshiba laptop I would I would probably you I, I would use my HP stream 11 a lot uh, at one point last year I swear it was my main machine at one point last year and it just brought back memories of, of me using it as my main machine because it had Windows 8.1 on it uh, but I would give this a solid nine the reason i'm not giving it a 10 is because it had the same issue as ubuntu i don't know if it's my pc having a problem with dual booting but because it had a problem with dual booting with with this with the load up for windows 10 with with uh dual booting with windows 8.1 it was a little bit slower uh than than usual I'll have to give it a 9, but overall, Windows 8.1 was probably uh, the better experience for me in dual booting. I hope you did enjoy this uh, comparison kind of video and my, my experiences, my two experiences in the past month with dual booting. If you did enjoy this Ash Tape video, make sure to smash that like button and subscribe to the channel if you're new around here and you like this kind of content i'm trying to post two videos a week now on hashtag anyway i'll see you in my next video until then goodbye guys <laughs>